there's the username and the pass that works with this and that's perfectly and it'll work with anything from the runs on down you can put in you know once you have the FTP access to the domain or the the true path whatever it is then from there anything you create from there you you have the privilege for anyway right and so that's done it's all good to go and so I could continue I just don't need to that's all I had to know and it's and it's going to use all the same information anyway because it's going to use that same file how do you know it uses the same file because it says so right here that's the same file that's the same file it's using the same file it's just putting it in a different domain with a different project different domain different project FTP information that's all I need to know so now I can just hit moji3 for csppc.bat and there you go and I just generated yet another 30 pages on top of the 60 that are completely unique coolest thing about these file these step threes they can be put into your Windows task manager which you can find right under accessories and then I think it's system tools because by now I got a shortcut to it and it's task scheduler and you can create a task in here that actually has your computer run that thing for you on a schedule an old task doesn't exist any longer I'd have to create a new task whoops I'll get to it I haven't set up yet I will just because I've been busy with all this stuff but it will work in your task scheduler that way your computer can upload new pages every week for you that way Google sees you're still applying new changes to your websites and you're creating new backlinks and all you have to do to decide your backlinks is this let's say you want some of these keywords well why keep creating web pages for keywords that you're like top page one two or three four and you're you're already there so I might just take that keyword out and stick in some new keyword I want home business uh, opportunity instead of best business opportunity something like that okay and I might even want to put it in a new folder called well home business opportunity and that's not how you do it here of course right I'm just showing you that's the dream keyword whoop let me go the long way around okay but I would have to do it in the placeholder project right load this and make it home business opportunity and then again just copy it you know and stick it here make sure it matches not two slashes and nothing after it don't put a slash after it or you're gonna wind up with double slashes on your sitemap just leave it at the end just like that and then that way you can save it and you can close it and you can run it and there you go piece of cake and it's taking care of all these and it's creating the files locally in your runs folder and so you have all these productions behind you if you ever want to go in and see what your pages really look like and um, I could click any of these links it actually takes me to the website and these are right here look at that I got another backlink program project on this other website and sure enough it says how this works that's why you might divvy up some of the wording but it's not important Google's gonna count it anyway compensation plans pointing at that website and you know what that means I just created backlinks on this second website like 90 pages worth okay now that's just cool I don't need to do anything more in here really uh, each one of these folders like I said has an index and has a sitemap and the sitemap.txt for Google if you learn how to log into Google and upload the sitemap there's an index 2 in every one of these things any idea what the index 2 is for the index 2 is in case you're uploading uh, files for the very first time to a new website that has no main page you well every time it creates any kind of a job it makes a backup index page that you can stick into the root of your entire website so if if there was if I just got this thing OG dash CS PPC if I just got this domain and I had no page on here or like in this case the page is silly then what can I do I can log into FTP real quick and I can do this with Firefox or anything else I'm kind of doing it in the other window right now uh, let me just 
because otherwise it's kind of like it was huge. All right, here we go. And I go here, and let me go into the runs folder. That's right. That's where it is. That's our oddball looking page. I'm going to rename that one to 33333. And I'm just pretending that you didn't have a web page up there at all. So right now, this thing should be broken. And it is broken. So I'm just going to take any one of those index twos. Okay, Moji Pro, just got to follow it. And you only have to do this once, so you finally have a main page. Any one of those will work. Upload it, and then just rename it to index, okay? And that way, when I refresh that thing, now it has an index page, and everything else should work fine. And it does. And so there you have it. I've got everything connected up. Piece of cake. And there you go. Really big deal. One other thing, these runs are date timestamp for your ease. If you want, you can always rename them. Uh, so you can just say like, you know, Moji samples and whatever we called that, best business opportunity uh, run one. How's that? You know, and then we can rename the other ones so that they make sense to us too. And we can even create an archive in here just so we can drag all our stuff into our archive after we've renamed it so we always see what we're working with most easily. The cool thing is that the date timestamps always go down. They just always go down, date, then time, date, then time, date, then time. So this is the present or the closest one to now. This is going back in the past, right? So the bottom one's the most real unless you rename something and then who knows? You gotta look at the date modify. <laughs> but there you go. That's how easy it is to do. How do you make another one? I would copy, just copy, literally, paste. Give it a new name, rename. And let's say I got a new website, one-moji-opportunities. So I'll just call it ops, all right? Now I need all the copy stuff, ops. And then that also means I need to make a copy of the third one, uh, copy one of these threes paste that I can also do the same thing with three and we're just going to call that what moji dash apps okay that way I can keep track of what's going on that's the first step for moji apps and the third step two is always the same okay the and this I need to edit because I got to make sure that it and here let me drag it out so it's easier to see it's saying turn on the program on automatic and go to this profile path right here well this is no longer the right one I want it to say 1-placeholder website I want it to say 1-moji-apps right whoops 1-moji-apps okay that way it matches but that's easy I just set up a whole new domain except that I still have to actually get this to make sense in the uh, load Moji apps. Get uh, get this to make sense here. This should be Moji dash opportunity dot com, and then I can even use the same folder if I want, or give it a new name. And so this has to be, you know, the same thing, right? Probably uh, Moji opportunity not dot com dot com, just dot com, and then don't need the runs. And if it's a, on a new domain, it's the master domain on the server, then I would probably need public underscore HTML. At least I do for host monster. Okay. That's really all you have to do there. And now I just created a third website I can upload thousands of pages onto for anything I want and just keep adding more projects as I go. Piece of cake and keep driving page rank up on these websites as I go piece of cake it could be any any domain you get access to it could be one you buy it could be one that your buddy has that he doesn't do anything with or she has that she doesn't do anything with and you just say hey give me access give me all you need is the FTP access right that's really all you need say give me this that and that they probably know it either they or their webmaster will know it somebody has to know it there's no other way to have the site up um, and so they can give it to you. And then therefore you can create a project and put pages, backlinks on their website. 
could even be a client's website. We're creating backlinks on one of their websites pointing at the other of their websites somewhere else. Uh, so one project that they run like a Forex club could point at some other project that they run where you can buy vitamin B17. <laughs> Things like that. And that's absolutely cool and it works. And so this just puts you really in business. I'll cover the rest of this stuff soon enough and just some more interesting things a little later. The last thing I'll say for right now is how do you get a new domain if you don't have one? And I'll I'll cover this anyway in a different video. If nothing else, moji-crew.com, for anyone that's gone that far and just says, how do I actually get a domain with a server anyway? moji-crew.com slash resources.html. This is what we recommend. Host Monster. It costs you, it says seven a month. That's about right. Hit website hosting here. And they say only $6.95, but check this out. If you click here, ah, there's where you're at now. Isn't that cool? $4.95, normally $7.95. So get started. And when you do, you got to buy a year all at once. It's not going to cost you a lot when you think 4 bucks a month. And not only that, you get to add a domain name. You know, and it could be um, Paint Thinners Explained it could be anything you would like and th that's cool then you can go after all these paint thinner keywords for the paint thinner guys or whatever you want to do or anything it doesn't have to be paint thinners at all it can be anything at all and so there you go that's the way it works hit next and then just fill out their information to get the account they send you the control panel logon and when you're done with all the control panel logon stuff then they send you to um, or they send you all your FTP information and everything else. The one thing I'm always asking, guys, is please use this link. It's an affiliate link. It helps support us, helps support what we do. And in exchange, then there's cool things that we can start offering now that we got this far with Emoji Pro version 1.6. Hey, you give me backlinks, I'll give you mine since we're on entirely different accounts. There's all this cross-weaving stuff that we can do to help each other out. So if you're willing to play ball and take the effort to bother to clear your cookies and then come here and click this link so you definitely get the affiliate cookie and I definitely get the credit, you're just being nice and doing me a favor, then my job to help you back is to first get you running and then we can swap to help each other build up page rank on our destination websites, things like that. With a bunch of people doing that, we can actually get into a little ring or two or three or 20. And that's cool. That just helps support all of us with things we do. We can create individual pages with no more than one, two, three, four, five backlinks per other guy. I'll show you how to do multiple backlinks soon. It's really simple. Just add more of the coding on the page and then just simply create more VARs on the CSV file with unique number names so that you can do more than one at a time. That's cool. All right, so I'll break into all that stuff a little later on. It's getting late now, and I covered a lot of stuff. I think I'll let you play with that for now because it's already huge. And I hope you enjoy this. This is really just some incredible power that we're just stepping into now. And this is how you take web pages and make them rank on the front page of Google for things. All right, we'll continue our chats and strategies and all that as we go along. But there you have it for now.